Now, Betsy Kling is here now. That's right. I, I got to tell you, we have just set up so perfectly for this weekend. We dealt with the humidity. We dealt with the rain. Thankfully, we got the rain. Uh, we still have a few little showers out there, but man, we are really looking ahead to some beautiful days. So if you are going to be watching the opening ceremonies tomorrow, you're going to have the windows open in the house. You can kick off the AC and really kind of get the feel and the flavor of all of it. Let's take a look at how this forecast shakes out for us, friends. We are talking about temperatures tapering back into the 60s as we pass the midnight hour. I think most of us will land in the upper 50s to near 60 for daybreak tomorrow. Right along the lakeshore, things will be a little bit warmer, but we should stay clear. Doppler radar, there's one blip and you get it. Lucky Carrollton right now uh, about to get some very light rain showers. These are going to continue to move out to the east and really just put a quick little shower on the area and then it is out of here. Dry air is taking over and it is cooler air too. Temperatures are in the mid 70s here in downtown Cleveland. We have upper 70s to near 80 farther south, but the dew point is the star of the show. We started the day with dew points in the mid and upper 60s and the dew point just steadily decreased decrease through the day. That is that feel that we can uh, can really grasp, right? So you felt the thick humidity this morning. It just was very humid and now it's starting to feel so much more comfortable and you can literally watch the drier air moving in. This morning we started with this dry, uh, this dark green. That's the dew points in the 60s and now as the dew points in the 50s begin to filter in, that is the drying out process and we'll take dew points even lower tonight and into the day tomorrow because high pressure is moving in. All the stormy weather associated with low pressure is moving out to the east coast and pushing south. You can see where this great expanse of clear skies to the northwest of us moving in. That's the high pressure and that will be staying with us. That means a comfortable night tonight and cooler. So yes, you can kick off the AC temperatures dipping back into the upper 50s to right around 60. National Design Mar hour by hour forecast for tomorrow. Once the sun comes up with the drier air in place, we should get a nice warming trend. We should see peak temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees, maybe a couple clicks cooler along the lake shore and a couple degrees warmer farther to the south, but all of us should be feeling great. Big picture forecast that high pressure moves in and it's with us this weekend, so it should really help us to stay cloud free, not only for your Friday, but even into Saturday. Sunday things begin to change a little bit on us. There is Saturday for you. High pressure begins to move out. Lower pressure begins to line up to the west of us, so Sunday we will likely see high thin clouds moving in through the day. Monday, the rain chances return and we need the rain. Don't forget that. So we get this little reprieve and then we have to get back to business. Medina Country Club forecast. We'll see nice jumps in the temperatures this weekend with the drier air mid 80s with lots of sun for Saturday. Humidity returns at 90 degree temperatures on Sunday and then we get back into an unsettled pattern with that much needed rain returning next week.